Hey there, Banning Gun Addicts. It's Ken Wolford here at Banning Again. I just wanted to show you guys this simple bleeding system that I have uh, that I bought on Amazon a while ago. Uh, basically, it allows you to do your coolant system bleeding like way easier. Um, you can just buy this unit. I think it cost me about $60. That's the only real holdup. And then you hook your shop air into it. Um, it has a gauge on here, which the way we have to use it is going to actually be upside down right now. And all you do is you like take your cap off, put it in the neck of the filler bottle here, the pressure bottle. And then you push this button. And you see the needle is going up. As it goes up, you see some of your hoses will start to kind of suck together. They flatten out. Alright, that's probably it. So once it gets up to, you know, about 25 on this gauge, you just kind of wait for a few minutes. You want to see if it's going to hold pressure. That way it tells you is there a leak somewhere or not. Okay, you can see that hose is all collapsed still. In case you didn't hear me with all that noise, wind noise. And, you know, once you get ready, you have this valve right here. Uh, you have this hose. It goes into your antifreeze bucket. Okay, and you can just basically put it in there, flip this switch, it sucks the water into the engine and fills everything. And there's no air in the system because you just suctioned all of it out. Okay, uh, and you don't need to bleed anything or do anything. And I've used this on early vanding guns, late vanding guns. When you get done, you've got heat, you've got everything, and it's ready to go. So I hope that's helpful to you guys. I'm going to put a link in the description for this tool. And I guess I'm going to pause it right now and we'll get some coolant rigged up. I'll show you how it works. All right, we're getting ready to do the fill. So you can see here we got our high-tech uh, milk jug here. And we're going to go ahead and open this valve. If I can get this camera to get focused. And as soon as you open it, it just suctions it right in. And you just keep doing that until... The system pressure goes down and you'll see right now the, the needle is way down there but if you turn it off see it's still up that high so you just kind of keep doing it until you you know and then when you run out of fluid in one tank you can just turn it off and go to the next one and that kind of thing sorry guys i keep having to hit the focus on this for whatever reason so I mean, it's really easy. I mean, the thing I love about it is there's no, it eliminates a lot of the fuss and muss of doing this. Like you don't have to have the car running. You don't have to have the front jacked up. You don't have to have it hot. You don't have to worry about hot antifreeze blowing all around and all that kind of stuff. I think we're ready for another bottle already. You can see how fast it goes. It, it'll pull it in there in just a couple minutes. All right, let me shut this off. We'll go to the next bottle because we don't want to suck air in there. I mean, that's a basically all that there is yeah, to it. It's up. very easy. Um, it's very no stress, you know, and believe me, I've been filling these cars for 20 years. I know all the tips and tricks on how to do it. And when I bought this, saw the system on Amazon a few years ago, I'm like, if this makes this thing way less stressful, you know, if I don't have to run back and forth to the front, to the back, 500 times to do this, it'll be worth the $60. If you're just a person who is doing this occasionally, it might not be worth that to you. But to somebody who does it, has multiple vans or whatever, it's definitely worth it. So that's it, guys. Uh, see you guys on the next video. And please like, share, subscribe.